Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, The Teaspoon, and today we will be drinking a organic super fine dragon well from Tea Vera. So I already had some of this tea and I really like it. And I was able to get this at 50% off. Well, it's buy one, get one. Um, the only downside is it's a 2019 variant. Uh, so it's about a year old, so it's not really that great for green tea, but it was really, really cheap. All right, let's get started. So I'm just gonna open up my bag. And you see, you get a bag within a bag. And what I like about Tivera is they have their packaging, so it is really nicely sealed. You can use this bag for any other tea you have, loose leaf. And it'll keep it fresh because it is non see through. You can keep your tea in there. And also, they provide these little oxygen absorbers, so it's really good for green tea, especially. So now, I'm gonna just eyeball the tea leaves because I've been drinking this a lot, so I know exactly how much tea that is required. So I'm going to be using about like three and a half grams to four grams. Don't get that absorbent in there now. about four grams. And remember with green teas you want to drink it as fast as you can. Once it's open it oxidizes and it, the flavor will lose the flavor will be lost over relatively quick. I would say consume within six months. So I keep all the air out before you reseal it. Ideally just keep it in like a cooler area in the house because it will heat will destroy the flavor and let's take a look at the green leaves okay. and because this is organic tea you do not have to rinse so I'm just gonna go straight for the first steep As always, all my printing parameters will be in the description below. So Dragon Well is one of the most famous tea, green teas in China, if not the most famous. And it's very noted for their shape. It's like this flat leaf. And that's about 15 seconds. Oops. Got some on my hand there. So the first deep of uh, teas is just to open up the leaf to give it a little bit of life. So it's um, usually, usually it's really mild in taste. So let's see how the first deep tastes. And see the color of the tea. Kind of like a clear hue with a little bit of yellow. And see the smell. The smell of the liqueur is very chestnutty. There's a little bit of like cut grass, but mostly just chestnut. See how it tastes. Mmm. A little sweet, there's no bitterness. Mm. Some chestnut notes in there, like um, steamed chestnuts. And maybe like some chestnut skin, the shell. There's a little bit of like cut grass, just a tiny bit. 
Mm. It's very good. This is a great tea for any time of the day. I like to have it in the morning and maybe sometime in the afternoon. Caffeine levels are not too high, so if you want something stronger in the morning, I would go for a black tea. Very good. Okay, now I'm gonna go for my second steep. Just very, very second steep. One thing to note is uh, these teas are very subjective to temperature, so I would recommend you not to brew, over, brew it too high or too long. It will get a little bit bitter, but for this one, this is an organic and it's pretty good grade. I would say it's, it doesn't really get bitter, but just brew it at a proper temperature to fully enjoy the tea. Always with green teas, try to um, <coughs> let after you brew it, take off the lid because you don't want the leaves to steam. And let's just see the color of the second steep. And the color is a little bit more like a faded yellow this time, more color to it. See how it smells. Still, really, you get more of those roasted steamed chestnuts now. Okay, so second steep is like you're getting stronger, more chestnut notes. It's very soft on the palate. It's, very, it's light to medium in body. And there's a lingering, just slightly lingering sweetness. Mm, very enjoyable. Okay, I'll be back to see how many steeps this tea can go for. Okay, so I'm back. So to conclude this tea, you're about getting about four solid steeps. And there's uh, two ways you can do with the last steep. So you either steep the last steep for about five minutes to get to extract all the flavor. Or you can actually use the leftovers. And then if you drink a lot of green teas, put it in a pitcher and then cold brew it. And then have it the next day, which are, I did both. And both ways are really good. And who do I think this tea is good for? I think this tea is good for everyone. It's very easy to drink, very light, it's very refreshing. There's those chestnut notes you, you're, if you're familiar with Dragon Well, it's, it's good. It's, there's a lot of chestnut notes and it's sweet. It's not bitter. It's not very complex, but it's, very, it's a very easy drinker. And for the, as far as value goes, this is, um, I was able to get this again. I told you, buy one, get one half, half price, buy one, get one free. So, I was going to get this for 100 grams for about $12 Canadian. So $24 to 200 grams, which is pretty, really cheap because they were having that promotion. So Tierra does have a lot of promotions throughout the year. If you catch them at the right time, you can get maybe up to 50% off certain um, of their teas. Um, and I also have three more green teas from Tierra uh, that's coming out in the next few weeks because I was able to snatch those teas at a buy one get one as well so yeah just say this is a great tea for everyone and that's it for today and uh, if you like my channel please remember to like that, uh, my, and subscribe to any future content as, as always until we tea again